And now, you may not think of the elusive octopus often, but its camouflage skills could eventually become a part of our daily lives. In this morning's Earth 8 report, I'm showing you the discoveries being made at a lab in La Jolla. Seeing an octopus in the wild is quite the treat, a rarity for those of us who go tide pooling with the hope that its eight tentacles might catch our eye. Not easy to find because they don't want to be found. They have a special pigment that allows them to blend into surroundings, changing from bright red to the hues of nature like rocks, sand, or any color of kelp. It's the coolest thing, isn't it? To be able to camouflage yourself, it's one of those superpowers of nature that I think fascinates us. Bradley Moore is a professor and the director of the Center for Marine Biotechnology and Biomedicine at Scripps Institution of Oceanography and Skaggs Pharmacy, with arguably one of the greatest office views. But it's his time spent with students in the lab that has resulted in life-changing discoveries. We can take some of this extracted pigment that we got from our bacteria and we can try to resuspend it in solution. A lot of this work may sound confusing, so let's help simplify it. Moore explains octopus use a chemical called xanthomatin to match any surface. It's the same chemical in the wings of the monarch butterfly or the red of a fly's eye. We took DNA and studied it out, out of an octopus, found DNA related to it from a mite from bacterium, put that into another bacterium, and we trained that new bacterium to make this octopus pigment. Essentially, they figured out a way to create the camouflaging superpower, and a lot of it. It made a lot of this material, and that's what got us super excited about being able now to use this octopus pigment, something that we haven't been able to study in science before. The potential is limitless. The students who worked on this project were super clever in how they reprogrammed um, this bacteria. This allows us to do would be to manipulate the, the pigment, the absorbance of the compound, to achieve different colors and different properties. They're in what Moore describes as playtime. After patenting the discovery, they can now work with this pigment to learn its potential. And the excitement in the Moore lab is palpable. We're swimmers, we're surfers. We are in the ocean all the time. The ocean that's right behind where I'm sitting right now here at Scripps Oceanography. This is our playground. So to be able to have discoveries out of that ocean and impacting humans is really super fun to be part of. Many businesses are interested. Inspired by nature and gravitating away from fossil fuels, this can be used in sun protection, cosmetics, paint, textiles, from art to even protecting our military. There is power in this pigment. Yeah, no timeline on when we might see that octopus pigment in our day-to-day -day products like that sunscreen or makeup or even our clothes, but many cosmetic companies have shown interest and Moore says this is just the tip of the iceberg now that those patents have been filed.